In today's video, we're gonna do meringues. Yes, I know you're thinking to yourself, oh my word, this is so difficult, it's so complicated, there's so many things that can go wrong. You're right. But I am going to show you all the tips and tricks that you need to make your meringues perfect every single time. And these tricks are what the actual bakers do and use to make their meringues perfect. With that, let's get into it tip number one make sure you have lemon juice paper towels and you put lemon juice into every bowl and everything that's going to touch the egg white it is to make sure that you get rid of any fat or residue that is still on your bowls tip number two when you separate the egg white make sure you have zero 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 yellow in your egg white have a separate bowl and you crack it up, separate it, and you then put it into your larger bowl. The reason why you want to have a separate bowl is if one of the eggs is damaged, you're not destroying all of your eggs, you're only destroying one egg or the one white from the yellow. Tip number three is make sure that your mixture between the egg white and your powdered sugar is a ratio of one to three. So it is one portion egg white to three portions of sugar. It'll make sure that your egg whites are perfect in consistency. So measure out your volume of egg white. Um, our egg white is 8.4 ounces. So make sure you have three times that in sugar. When it gets into the mixer, start your mixer off to see if your egg whites are going to whip. Let that run for about 15 seconds. If it is not going to whip now, it is not going to whip. Uh, if it is going to start whipping, then switch off your machine and start adding sugar at one tablespoon at a time. So from the first time that you start whisking to the time that your uh, meringue is 100% done will take about 13 to 15 minutes and just keep adding one spoon at a time and uh, when you're about five or six spoons in stop the machine check to see how it's coming about it should still be very very soft put it down start again add in more sugar and keep on going and by the time you get to the end it'll be stiff enough that when you actually look at the lump of uh, meringue it is not going to go anywhere. Okay, so what you can see over here is that the plastic bag goes just slightly past the edges of the tip. So you don't want to have a situation where the tip is still in the bag because it's not going to give you the desired shape that you're looking for. So over here you can, I'm just going to try to get it as close as possible for you to have a look at it. But this is fantastic. Okay. Fold the bag, so you fold it over like a sleeve and we're then going to fill up the bag. Here is the bag that's filled and we then just take off the little sleeve and voila, zero mess. Okay, time to get the meringues out the oven. Oh my word, this is looking amazing. Look how brilliant these meringues look. The shape held, the patterns held. Everything looks amazing. Just wow, it is incredible just following these few little steps. You will have meringues that look exactly like this. Let's take one off. And you can see with the oil that it had come off and there is no residue left. Awesome. 
Mm. Have a look at that. The texture is perfect. Just amazing. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Let's take one of these interesting shapes that we decided to make. Is it easy to buy this in the store? Yes, it is. But let me tell you, when you get this right, it is spectacular. Just beyond incredible. Give this a go. Try it. Be patient. You need piles of patience. Do all the things that we've got. Everything that we've done. In the description below, I'm going to have all the details. Check out that description. Follow the individual steps and your meringues will come out light, fluffy, just beyond amazing. And on that note, catch you guys on the next one.